Hello everybody, this is Terrence Warren, your Cisco Tutor Guy, CCMP certified. And this lab is from the route exam. And this is the OSPF route lab that is on the exam. Now I've done this lab before for YouTube, but I think I want to do this lab again because it is one of the, the exams or one of the labs that's on the exam. So I would like to go into this lab also. So let's get started. Okay, we start with the first router and the second router. These are the only, the only two routers that we're going to touch in this lab. And we see, notice that area 21 is in between them. So keep in mental note that we're going to need to know that. All right, so we go on the router, the first router. We're going to do a show run. We always do a show run just to see what, we, what we're working with. And um, the password is Cisco, as it stated in the corner. Do a show run. And we're looking for OSPF, where the AS number is. Okay. Looking for some instructions or something. So let me minimize that for a minute and see what kind of structures you got. Okay, OSP. Area 21. Alright. I got it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into signal and we're gonna configure OSPF. Because right now it don't look like OSPF is even on here. So Router OSPF one. Network one nine two dot one six eight dot sixteen. Area 21 and Area 21 stub. All right. So, okay, that's it for the first router. I'm do right man or copy run start. And I'm going to go into the second router. Router OSPF one network because the network is listed up here. So we're gonna use the same network one nine two dot one six eight dot sixteen dot six zero dot zero dot zero dot three Area twenty one and this is gonna be area twenty one uh no summary. Hmm. No summary or auto summary? Can't remember right now. Let me think about it. Hmm. Okay, now I remember. I forgot a word.
There we go. And believe it or not, that's it for the OSPF um, lab on the rod exam. As you can see, the adjacency just came up. So we're good there. That is the resolution for the OSPF lab on the rod exam. That's all you have to do. Uh, in the exam, they're going to they're gonna give you more instructions on what AS numbers to use and whatnot. So uh, just follow the instructions and do just that. Make sure you have your network, your, your, the correct wildcard mask, and the correct area stub number. So that does it for the OSPF lab. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep, keep watching. Keep following along, along these labs. Thank you.